lengthy sentence for the man described by family and friends as gentle, caring, understanding and loving. Also during mitigation of sentence, they said Rode was a good father to his three daughters. But in handing down sentence, Judge Saleh Lope said when Rode committed the crimes, nothing else mattered except the love he had for himself. She said Rode showed no remorse for taking the life of his wife of 22 years. The data from 66 countries found globally that 39% of homicides of women are committed by their intimate partner. This is clearly quite disproportionate and alarming if you look at it being compared to that of South Africa. The proportion of inter intimate partner homicides in our country stands at 59%. We have, Mr. Rueda, because of crimes like that which you have been committed of, become the femicide capital of the world. This is clearly an epidemic, an enormous social problem. The court found that Susan suffered in the last moments of her life and the degree of violence meted out by Rueda was excessive and horrifyingly aggressive. Count one, you are sentenced to 18 years direct imprisonment Turning to count two, which is also a serious crime, you are sentenced to five years direct imprisonment. It is ordered that three years of the sentence imposed on count two shall run concurrently with that imposed on count one. The National Prosecuting Authority welcomed the sentence. We hope that it does send out a message in the fight against femicide. And it's people who are supposed to be loved. And when they kill each other, and it, it, it's so painful because it does not only affect the two, it does also affect other family members. In this case, there are three young women who are orphaned. And there's, there are parents, there are brothers who are affected. And also Susan was involved uh, in the broader community where she assisted even orphans to improve their lives. So they are also affected by this. Rhoda's legal representatives have indicated that they will appeal the conviction and sentence. Mariska Boota, SABC News, Cape Town.